I'm Hannes uh, Smarsen. I want to talk to you briefly about um, the incredibly courageous decision by Angelina Jolie to um, make public her battle with, uh, with breast cancer. And uh, for me, it really represents, uh, I guess you might call it the ultimate in personalized medicine, um, taking complete charge of, uh, of your future, um, undertaking a test that has a potential to completely transform your life, um, which in her case it obviously did. The importance of, uh, of this is that it raises the awareness uh, among the general public of the ability to, um, to use genetics and genomics to better understand your risk profile for developing, um, in this case, uh, breast cancer, can also be other uh, diseases, and therefore is a very good reminder of um, the journey that has uh, commenced right now to um, bring genomic medicine to the front line and uh, transform how we prevent diseases, how we treat diseases, and in fact how we approach healthcare in general. And if you look at uh, uh, the predominant mode of, uh, of doing this, uh, of using genetics, has been to target individual gene testing. But where the field is moving is towards whole genome sequencing, whereby we have the complete picture of a given individual and can therefore look at a variety of uh, genomic issues associated uh, with that particular individual and much better understand both what the risk profile is for developing different disease categories, um, be they cancer or heart disease or what have you, but also to offer them the more appropriate personalized medicine that targets their underlying condition and uh, has a much more um, uh, has the potential really to, to drastically improve the potential outcome of the, of the treatment path that they will un ultimately undertake. So for me, the, the story of, uh, of Angelina Jolie's uh, courageous decision and her decision to actually make it publicly known has um, set in motion a, a set of um, forces that I think will help shape the development uh, going forward.